It is the most visible animal in the zoo. Its whole body is white hair, everywhere showing the king's breath. Its IQ is higher than its peers, and it can use sign language to communicate with humans without barriers. Davis, a zoologist and former marine, takes care of the white ape. Davis used sign language to teach him how to behave, but the white ape was rude to him. That day, the white ape ran to the brown bear area. The bear was actually killed by it. Bears are also one of the biggest land animals. Davis didn't believe it until they called out the shivering white ape from the cave. Davis finally believed it. By this time, it had doubled in size. Davis took it back to the lab for observation, and it wasn't long before the white ape began to grow like a balloon. It has reached a height of 3 meters and weighs to tons. After their investigation, they found out that it was caused by a dropped experimental tank from space that was a genetic agent for space research. As the space experiment module lost control, three canisters of experimental agents passed through the atmosphere and crashed to the ground. One of them happened to be discovered by the white ape and was unfortunately infected by the drug and produced a huge mutation. Davis is approached by Kate, a female scientist. She's a researcher at the genetics company. The technique involves a mix of animal genes that combine stem growth speed, fuel defense and strength, and cheetah speed and agility. Suddenly, the white ape began to get angry and the cage would not work in front of him. Thick walls can't hold back its massive body. It jumped outside with ease, causing tourists to flee in fear. The helicopter was eventually called in. They injected the white ape with a large amount of anesthetic before subduing him. The army took the white ape along with a giant beast, and after some explanation, it was discovered. Their government agents dealing with this monster crisis. One bottle was absorbed by a wild wolf, which grew into a nine meter to long forest wolf. Heavily armed special forces teams are also killed by it, and helicopters are not spared in front of it, but can only become its dessert. This is a monster. At this time, the white ape also began to rage, and a large amount of anesthetic could not stop its awakening. 30,000 feet in the air, a giant ape broke out of his cage and attacked the soldiers. The plane was also blown out of control and fell to the ground. At the critical moment, Kate put on her parachute and escaped from the plane. He parachutes the unconscious agent and jumps out of the plane together. Before the agents, who woke up high in the sky could react, they were parachuted away, and the giant ape crashed with the plane. When Davis landed, he found no Gigantopithecus in the wreckage. He saw from the trace that the Gigantopithecus was not dead, but had fled. Davis and Kate are then taken to the base. The military found via satellite that the Gigantopithecus had joined the Timberwolves, and the military prepared to use heavy weapons to tackle them. After Kate explained that the gene company left behind, the drug integrated bad sodium gene, they can summon the beast with a specific frequency of radio waves. Davis disagrees with the military's bombing plan, and Kate steals a helicopter and heads to Gencor to find a cure for the monster crisis. By this time, the two giants had arrived in the city, and they begin to wreak havoc. A helicopter gets shoot up by a forest wolf, a tank gets tossed around like a child's toy, and a puppy gets scared and runs away. The attack of a weapon is like scratching an itch for them. The Timberwolf's tail spikes, and the tail hits the helicopter. Just as the two giants play an attack, something strange appears in the water. A giant crocodile emerges from the water, bigger and more violent. Its barking was thunderous and the aircraft and tanks were treated directly as sacks. The army is on its knees. The priority now is to find a cure. They came to the gene company, found the understanding drug in the laboratory, but was also found by the female boss when a shot fell to the ground. Kate is also being hijacked to the roof, and they plan to escape by plane. As the low frequency waves got stronger, the three-headed behemoths begin to climb. The female boss grasped the time difference to escape. Climbing very fast, she made it to the roof before she could escape, and the pilot was caught. Davis saved Kate's life in the nick of time. Kate puts the antidote in the boss's bag and pushes the boss towards the giant ape. The female boss carries the antidote, and the giant ape eats it. The Timberwolves also came to the roof and started tearing the cell tower apart. Giant crocodiles turn into pangolins, and skyscrapers start crumbling. Davis hurriedly runs Kate into the broken plane. Under the destruction of the three giants, the building began to tilt. The plane could not operate normally, but it was able to circle in place. The building collapsed, and the helicopter fell into the rubble. Davis crawls out of the ruins to find that the giant ape has taken the antidote and returned to normal, becoming a normal ape. But then, the Timberwolves and the giant alligators came out, and they found that the giant ape had betrayed the giant beast alliance, and they were very angry. Gigantopithecus and Davis are on the verge of a major war with Gigantopithecus and Timberwolves. The Gigantopithecus picked up a brick and knocked the alligator unconscious. The Timberwolves took the opportunity to attack the giant ape, but was thrown out by the giant ape. The Timberwolves have awakened the bad gene, 
Davis had to marvel that wolves can't fly. Gradually, he was actually in a weak position in the battle. Davis found that the giant crocodile had woken up. He takes advantage of his small size, attracts the attention of the two larger guys, and then a dodge makes them bite the dog. Even a raging crocodile can't tell who's on his team. The giant alligator bites off the wolf's head and swallows it for a snack. There's only one giant crocodile left, but it's almost invincible. Davis can only run in panic, one jump hard fall to the ground. He is about to enter the fish pit. The giant alligator jumps just in time to use the big drop to beat the giant alligator. But the crocodile was 10 times larger than the Gigantopithecus, and the Gigantopithecus attacks were ineffective and they were flown off. Davis uses his tiny frame to navigate beneath the giant crocodile. When the giant crocodile was not looking, he threw a row of grenades into the crocodile's cheek. With the sound of the explosion, the giant alligator finally fell. The giant alligator thinks it can relax, but the giant alligator attacks again, swinging its tail at the giant alligator. But fortunately, it is blocked by the giant ape. Giant alligators were also thrown and nailed to the wall. Davis rushes into the gunship, and all the fire pours down on the alligator. It's not so harmful to the giant crocodile. What does it do? The angry giant alligator cornered the giant alligator and had to swallow it. At a time of crisis, giant apes descend from the sky with iron rods. He stuck the iron rod into the crocodile's eye, and the giant crocodile let out a scream and died. The Gigantopithecus was now dying and closed his eyes. Davis was about to leave in grief when suddenly the apes pulled world. When Davis turned around, he found his eyes closed. He was pretending to be dead and making rude gestures to Davis. This is a monster. People slowly moved away from the rubble and rescued trapped humans from upstairs. This is the end of the film. After watching this movie, I can conclude that it is very enjoyable. Not only was it great to see the beast, but it was also great to see the pets tearing down their homes. Is this evil genetic technology research worth researching? And what would we do if they did? Finally, the film also tells us not to be reckless with our own power. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.